Hello, I'm Dr. Jeffrey Nisgoda. We're here at AZH Wound and Hyperbaric Vascular Center in Milwaukee, Wisconsin. And I had a very interesting patient uh, come into the clinic today, and we are going to do a series of videos discussing uh, pre the pre initial presentation of a patient with a diabetic foot ulcer. We're going to talk a little bit about neuropathy. We're going to talk a little bit about callus formation and the debridement techniques that are required for the management of patients with uh, pre-ulcerative callus formation or frank ulceration. So this patient presented to us, um, as you'll see, he has some significant callus uh, over the plantar surface of the fourth and fifth metatarsal heads. You'll also notice that the patient has some callus formation over the uh, plantar surface of the second toe. You'll see here, this is a very prominent ulceration. Uh, it's uh, full thickness, uh, significant heavy callus formation. Uh, this patient was recently diagnosed with diabetes. Uh, his hemoglobin A1C was over 10, and uh, he presented for wound care uh, after presenting to the emergency room with uh, infected ulcers that was managed with antibiotics. We've had a discussion with this patient, uh, and not only uh, is he a recently diagnosed diabetic, but he admits to smoking, and we've had a conversation with him regarding the risks of smoking um, when you are a diabetic and he uh, has told me that he is gonna stop, which is a very good thing. Why is this happening? Well, this is the patient's pressure uh, bearing uh, or weight bearing surface of the foot at this point. Uh, he's got early changes due to his diabetes. <clears throat> we notice that he has probably some Achilles tendon uh, shortening. When you can't uh, bring that uh, flexion past a 90, uh, we know that we have tight Achilles uh, tendon, a short Achilles tendon. We also notice that these flexor tendons here are, are also being shortened and drawn back. When these tendons are uh, shortened and drawn back, this pulls up on the toes. When the toes have this type of upward deformity, you can see what happens. We now make this the prominent surface with walking. This is the surface that uh, receives the trauma and the weight, and the body responds to that by forming callus. Um, callus can uh, be a problem for us. Not only does it uh, progress in uh, size and depth, but we can get uh, hemorrhage underneath this callus, we can get frank ulcer formation, and we're going to explore this callus a little bit to determine what type of callus it is, uh, or what, what type of uh, depth is associated with this callus to determine uh, if there is an ulcer or not, and if so, what type of ulcer is it. We'll talk a little bit about the Wagner classification. Um, why is this uh, patient at risk? Well, not only is this the pressure bearing surface, but he doesn't feel this ulcer uh, forming. He doesn't feel this callus forming. Why is that? Well, he has diabetic neuropathy. How do we assess for this? Uh, well, one of the best ways is use monofilament testing. Here is a device that we can use to assess a neuropathy. And it's, it's essentially, uh, it's performed by taking and uh, with just the force of the monofilament, uh, some downward pressure, we ask the patient whether they can uh, feel that or not, and we're going to test certain areas of the foot. Uh, we can distinguish uh, the patient's ability to test by checking up here on the leg. Can you feel this? Yes. See, he's able to feel that there. How about here? Yes. Okay, so the dorsal surface uh, is intact from a sensation standpoint. But if we come down here, tell me if you feel me touching you. Yes, top of my toe. Feel that. Okay, how about here? Anywhere else you feel it? No. Yes. Have some sensation here? My feel foot. it? All right. So we can see that he does have some sensation over the dorsum of the foot the uh, posterior part of the foot, but the distal part of the foot, I should say the proximal part of the foot, uh, the distal part of the foot obviously has some uh, early neuropathy changes with decreased sensation. When we have decreased sensation, uh, we don't realize that we're forming callus, we don't realize that we're forming ulceration, we don't realize we're having pain, and this can go undetected. This has obviously been there for some time now. 